Hey guys, Jimmy, and today on Roblox, we're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on the screen right now, Lynn. So today, we're going over Ragoon. I think actually recently, because I mentioned that I want to do a complete, basically, rework on its ability. Um, well, kind of, not really like an entire rework, but I think it should do what it actually is named, which is stealing abilities rather than copying them. So we're going to be getting into that today. Here's a Lumion Army, so obviously I'm bringing the Propair, even though it's a terrible idea, but I'm still bringing it. I think... Uh, Obstetrical is really good, so I'm gonna have to bring the. I'm not too sure about the. I, I, I want to bring this. I don't think. But then again, eh, actually, yeah, I think Ikazun is pretty good here. There's a lot of damage to almost everything. Gotta watch out for the Tata below. But I have Luminami, and I have Obstetrical, so I will lead off with Luminami. Might as well. I don't really know why not. Um, if it's Zulong, that is a dot. That is um. A little upsetting. And it's Terrafly, okay. Probably should have saw that one coming, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely should have saw that one coming. I'm just gonna go into Obsidragon. So, anyway, I'll show you the set that I have for my Ragoon. I wouldn't exactly recommend running it, but if you do want to go ahead and like, start getting a new one for whenever the next update comes out, which I'm hoping it'll be implemented then, we're not really too sure, because like I said, these are just like ideas, and I'm basically, I basically like, write down all my ideas and throw them all at t -Brads. Like as the last part of like the the de the, the development stages of the uh, newest updates. So usually how it goes. Anyway, so this is what I went for. So because people are running 128 TPs on some searches, which I thought everyone just running 120, but apparently some people are speed creeping. So people are using searches to speed creep other people's searches, but okay, whatever. So basically, 128 speed TPs with a um, nimble will let me outspeed Lowe's new searches that are also trying to outspeed other searches. That's really the only thing that we, the fastest thing that we need to outspeed. I mean, Luxor, but Luxor is base 91, so Luxor will obviously outspeed us. I should have maxed out my attack, I always forget that. Um, also, then we have the max out the melee attack. And then for Sarchi again, we have 128 health and 40 range defense. The, for, like, the extra bar is just extra. I don't think it gives you any more energy, so it's not really worth running it like that. So yeah, that'll let me tank a... Uh, oh, I forgot Primal Slash as well. No! No! <laughs> I forgot Primal Slash! No! Um, but basically, that will let me tank one foul chance from Masachi as well. Um, I, think, I think actually there's like, there's like a very low percentage chance that he might be able to two-shot me. I don't exactly remember. I basically can like take it a lot better than when I'm not TP trained like that. So that is what it is TP trained. So anyway, let's actually talk about the ability learn. So obviously the ability right now, secret ability. Also I'm running Brawny with a Dark Essence. Not really too short items. People do suggest to run the Heavy Shield. That will let you actually tank three hits um, from Sarch's Foul Chant, but again, I don't really see why a Sarch would stay in against a Ragoon, to be honest, so I'm not really too sure if it's really worth it. But anyway, talking about the ability, it says Ability Thief. Copy the ability of your target when you use a move that makes contact with them. So basically, if it makes contact with something, let's use Luminami, for example. If I hit Luminami, I will copy its ability, although the title does say Ability Thief. Ragoon is a thief. I think it makes sense for it to steal it, so that is actually the change I want to do. So, the new- also, like, I think it got changed a long time ago, like, we're talking about, like, when the game, like, first came out, like, a few updates after that, like, we changed it a little bit, but I don't think it had to do really do anything with its ability, it was mostly its stats, like, also, it became a little bit quicker. Clap tech is a little bit quicker, but basically, it's quicker now, and I think I might have made it hit a little bit harder, but I don't think I did, I think that's the exact same. So, basically, it got a lot more speed, because I think before it was like 70-something base speeds. Maybe even lower than that, honestly. I can actually tank Kimber pretty well. We're actually going to just obsidian and sweep. I don't know why he didn't go into Luminami, but it's a little bit late now, so yeah. Okay, yes, his Wrath. I should be able to tank that pretty well. Plus, he is locked into it now, actually, so I can like leave this for a couple of turns now. Might as well sharpen again. So, yeah, that is also what it does right now. What I wanted to do is to actually steal... The opponent's ability. So basically, whenever you make contact with something, let's say for example a timber, probably awakening, he just got a fat crit. That really sucks for me. Uh, I'll have to go for beast lumber this time. That sucks. But basically, if I make contact with this timber, I will steal awakening. So my ability thief now becomes awakening, and I keep it for the entire battle. That is the only ability now my Ragoon will have for the entire battle. I guess maybe later, I could maybe potentially add a move for Ragoon to like get up. I guess every, a lot of things can get it, but basically it will 
get it'll um, maybe get rid of its ability or I, can, I don't know if that would actually make sense i don't know if i would like revert it back to its ability thief so not too sure about that one unless i give it a move and it can like revert its ability back to where it was so you can like kind of pick but i don't know if that's a great idea to be honest kind of, sam's kind of busted uh but basically you'll get to keep this one so right now as it works is that if i copy the awakening ability and then swap my ragoon out like so let's say they swap in a uh, to clips or a Luxor that's also speeding me, I have to swap out. I'll actually lose my awakening ability and now I go back to ability thief, which it is good for like certain situations, but I think the um, fact that I should steal it is a, probably a just better in general. So I want, that's what I wanted to do. The Himberlo, also that had awakening that I just stole it from, will now get a new blank ability. This ability will be blank. It will technically have no ability for the duration of the battle. So whenever he swaps out, or when, whenever he just swaps out like now, he wouldn't have the awakening ability anymore. He'll have this new blank ability, which makes, means he has no ability for the rest of the battle, which you might say that's busted, but it only happens once. And there are some abilities that Ragoon doesn't really need, and it's not really gonna be able to like use very well. That did not hit very hard at all, to be honest. Well, see you later, Zulong. See you later. So I think it is going to be a really good change because also, for example, Teclips is getting actually getting is getting pretty beat down, I guess, in the next update because also Umbra and Luxor can bypass this ability, and uh, Ragoon has always been able to copy Teclips's ability, and also then it kind of hit it with Gluminous Raw. But basically now, um, Ragoon can just come in, swipe, completely get rid of Teclips's ability, and now it has it itself. So Ragoon is, I think, is gonna like shoot up pretty high with this like change. I think I'm actually just gonna get an Obsidian sweep, honestly, which kind of sucks because it's not about Obsidian. <laughs> this video is not about Obsid Obsidian. We already did that, okay? We already did that. So yeah, I think that'll be a really, really, really good change for it. Um, just the fact that it's it's not really it's a huge buff to Ragoon. Like also right now, no one really uses Ragoon. Vesper Auto hits a lot harder. It's just a better dark type overall. It's quicker, can hit harder, and has better defenses. But with the ability thiefing, like niche, I think that is gonna like really do a lot of work. I think that's like a really, really, really good ability, like buff basically. And especially right now, since only Ragoon has that ability, maybe in the future something else could potentially get it. I'm not too sure. I'll take out Himber. I'm not. I want him to KO me, to be honest. I mean, Awakening would be great to get right now, because also then I just get, um... Then I get Awakening on my Ragoon, which is great, because I have Slap Down. So yeah, I think that would be really, really good for Ragoon, though, and that's basically the idea for it. I don't think it's exactly too OP, because also, you only can use it once. If you get a bad ability, oh no, Ragoon's stuck now with that ability for the entire game. Can't exactly think of, like, any I specific moves or abilities that Ragoon doesn't want to have. I guess Idio is one of them, if you actually don't know. Yes, Ragoon can actually steal Idio, um, which is... What's this? Uh, Pharoglyphs? No, normal ability, the one that also sucks right now, but it can actually steal that one. The only ability that I know it can't steal is... Um, is... What's its name? Teclipse's normal ability, Circadian. I think that is the only one, at least right now, it can't actually take because also I, I wish it could because also the change in between a light type and a dark type for Ragoon would be so nice but unfortunately it can't and I don't think it will so that sucks unfortunately but I think that would be really cool for it to be honest or actually I'll take out the Terrafly as well I'll take out the Terrafly Terrafly is kind of annoying for Ragoon to deal with but what I actually didn't realize I haven't shown you the moves yet that I have on my Ragoon because I kind of forgot I got a move which is Chase Down. I've kind of forgot that I actually gave because I haven't used Ragoon really like since a few months ago. Like I had a Ragoon and I love Ragoon, but it kind of like fell off quite a bit. But yeah, the moves I actually have is Slap Down, Body Slam, Sharpen, and I was actually going to run Quick Pounce also. I can like priority something like a Ragoon or a, a Teclips. That, I guess actually Teclips wouldn't even outspeed a Ragoon since no one's going to run speed on it. But for example, I could... Quick pounce something and get the ability. I'm trying to actually think of any of that. Like, I don't think it really. I, I guess, like, the only one I can really think of that would actually be good right now that outspeeds me would be um, Dusk It. Like, take it um, Harmonize, and if Dusk It puts me to sleep, Dusk It also should get put to sleep. That's the only one I can really think of. 
So I guess not really that great. Or actually, I guess Gobidemic, I can still immuni immunitize and I can't get put to sleep as well. And so that's like the only reason why Quick Pounce would be actually good. So I'm not really too sure about that. I'll just click Earthquake again. So other than that low, I think it's going to be a pretty good one. And like I said, the last move is actually Chase Down. I forgot you actually got that, to be honest. I kind of forgot that I gave it to it. Which means you are guaranteed to steal an ability of your choice if you can have a Ragoon on the field. So leading off with Ragoon might actually be a really good player. I also don't want Vesperatu to be on the field, man. This is a bad battle for uh, for me to show off Ragoon. I'll, I'll sacrifice my um, Obsidian, okay? I'll let him take my Obsidian gun down. I don't really care about sweeping this, okay? Don't really care about sweeping this. So yeah, I think that would be a huge buff to Ragoon, especially since it's the only thing with the ability to thief now. With Chase Down again, you have to be careful for the clip because its ability won't it's not going to let it bypass Eclipse's ability, so you can't just use not you can't just use Dark type moves on Eclipse's ability. So that means the opponents have got to be very careful on how they play their cards because also the Ragoon then now can shut down quite a few Lumians. Obsidragon? Oh yeah, you want to use Resilience Obsidragon? Well now Ragoon just stole it, so Obsidragon can now actually get beat by melee attackers. It kind of like beats up it can beat obsidian it can't i don't think it can beat it itself but stealing obsidian's ability for the rest of the game is very good because obsidian's resilience ability is stupidly good right now for the fact that a lot of people are using borok kurosol vesperatu melee attackers that can't deal with it so i think that'd be a really good one the clips is another one also um, being completely immune to dark and light and spirit and taking away two of those immunities by clicking one move on ragoon is nice and also ragoon then gets those gets that ability which makes it immune to light and dark and it's also weak to light so it's like also really freaking good so i mean like it's pretty i think that'd be really good like the opponents will have to play the cards right. Again, another one, Luminami. If Luminami loses its secret ability, it's not the end of the world. It ruins Rejuvenate. But now Ragoon can swap out whenever it wants, and it can get and it can heal. <laughs> so, I mean, it can go quite a while. I really shouldn't have thrown a Ragoon into here, to be honest. That's a terrible idea for me. I'll go for um Sharpen first. So, yeah, I think that would actually be really good for, for Ragoon. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use it in this battle great, because... His team just completely died to Obsidricon, which isn't exactly the best. So, I think that'll be great for Ragoon. I don't think it's going to be super broken. Like, Ragoon's, like, kind of quick and kind of hit hard. Best would just, would just flop down. So, Ragoon really isn't going to be, like, isn't going to be stealing abilities and making the Ragoon overpowered. It's mostly just, like, going to be stealing abilities just to kind of screw over the opponent. And that's basically how I think I'm, people are going to use it. We might as well just flop down to take his ability and remove whatever item he has. So, yeah. I think it's going to be really good as a buff. Uh, that's basically how I wanted it to work since it came, since the game came out. He has no item, of course he doesn't. Well, no one runs items, I man, I swear. It screws me over a little because I don't do as much damage. <laughs> uh, so yeah, unfortunately, this is not the right battle that I should be showing Ragoon off because the opponent just doesn't have anything... F well, yeah, it's actually his entire team wasn't really great for Ragoon. Terrafly I couldn't be, Vesperatu I couldn't be. Tatav I could, but I'm going to get hit with your jungle jutsu and probably flinch, so my Ragoon dies. So yeah, this this team was kind of like trash for me to show off Ragoon, but still, I think that'd be a great one. Also, Body Slam right now is the only move it has that is type plus. It's still worth running type, uh, the type plus just so you can actually, actually hit the Eclipse and stuff like that. Uh, also, stuff that is immune to dark, so yeah. Right now, though... I think Ragoon, I think I like Ragoon a lot right now. I love it. I love the fact that it can copy abilities. It can kind of choose and pick, like, pick and choose whatever it wants, but all the opponent has to do really is swap out and also go into something that you don't really want. And yeah, an actually good one that could actually be really, really good and could actually be very interesting. I actually don't know how it would work is what if Ragoon can take Ambush from Terrafly? Like also you don't really want to swap it into a Terrafly, but if Terrafly is weak, you send out your Ragoon, you chase down so you can like lock it in and you can steal, like, guarantee that you steal the Ambush. Does chase down get, if then, then let's say like a, I don't know, then later in the game you bring Ragoon back out on the light type, for example, like Valkyrie. If I click chase down and lay swap out, does chase down get boosted by Ambush? I don't think it will, because they technically didn't swap, but still, I mean... It can be very, like, very. it's very situational, but I think it'll be pretty scary for certain teams. Again, a lot of Lumis right now kind of, like, depend on their ability. 
in effect to like basically force your opponent to lose one of them but again like i said there are pretty like not not terrible abilities but there's not there's, not, there's some abilities that are just like well i don't really want this you can also you can run low so the ragoon like you basically sacrifice that ability a bad ability to the ragoon so i still think there's ways to get around it i mean but also right now in the, in the specific game i mean there's a lot of abilities that are just like really good that you basically have to run awakening great you get you get super stabbed now on your slap down and chase down actually pro pay as well if people actually start using pro pay you steal defensive priority <laughs> I mean, Ragoon doesn't become slower, but it becomes tankier. That could be interesting. I mean, there's so many different ways you could have act you could actually run Ragoon. I don't think you can steal your your teammates. I actually don't know how that works. If you like use use in doubles or two v twos, I don't know if it works. If you steal your opponent though, right now, that'd be interesting. But I mean, just look at my like couple of PC boxes. Okay, let's have a look. See what I can steal. That would make it gr that would like be really good. As an ability to steal and would be good as Ragoon just to have. Awakening, easy, great. Sharp claws, great. Speed boost, great. Um, I mean, you're uh, not really a great, not exactly like a great one, but I mean, now you're immune to plant types. I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, Krakaloa, um, I mean, again, it becomes immune to fire. That one's actually a really good ability because Ragoon's weak to fire. Um, immunitize, you can't get put to sleep, you can't get poisoned anymore. Great. That's great. Um, actually, even the secret ability would be pretty pretty good as well. So if the opponents are poisoned, your damage will do more damage. That's great. Okay. What about Trumbull? Trumbull's brute force, I don't think it's like, going to be that great. I think it would only boost body slam. So I don't, can't really see that one being great to really run. Same for Moochoons, obviously. It's mostly like sounds-based abilities. You're going to use sound-based moves. Um, let's actually think about secret abilities. Brute Force, I don't think will actually get boosters as well, except from... No, actually, no, Body Slam doesn't even paralyze in this game. So, yeah, uh, secret ability... Um, Zulong, I don't really need that. Um, let me try and think. Like, terrifying would be great to have, obviously. That's n never a terrible one. Swalder's ability wouldn't exactly, like, be amazing to have, like, webbing, but, I mean... Eh, so, I mean, that's, that one's, like, a pretty good one, like, to, I guess try and give to the Ragoon because it's not exactly a great ability in general. So I guess it's actually the same for Eruptodon as well. Also, uh, Ragoon hasn't got any fire type moves and it probably won't get any fire type moves, so Pyro will be a horrible ability for it to get. Um, Eliguana's secret ability would be great to get because then you also become immune to light type attacks. I mean, you're, you're light, you don't have any light types so you can't really use the second half of this ability, but you become immune to light types. That's a great ability to have. Falkaloa um, is basically the same as Krakaloa, not that great. Ice Gulls is like, a, I guess, a terrible one. If Ice Gull actually becomes popular, I guess that would be like a good sacrifice. Unless it is actually probably going to get a buff, most likely. Sedimazas isn't exactly bad, but I mean, you have the chance to miss, but you have Sharpen, so it's not exactly terrible. Again, Ambush would be great to have, because Dragoon is, would, might be scary for a lot of things, so now it gets Ambush. Now it can go like click and get super, super moves. So that's great. Um, Luxols would actually be great because you could um, it will also heal or speed you, so you could be careful about that. But if it's weak and you have quick pounce, you could quick pounce it, and then now you have a light type body slam and quick pounce, which is really funny to be honest. Because then you ex can actually beat Vesperatulan for a change. The yeah, Vesperatulan completely like hard walls it, unfortunately, kind of like your soul. Um, I guess Sorches wouldn't be good to have because also you're not going to have any moves that can miss none of the moves i have on it right now can miss so not exactly great again idio is another one you don't really want idio but no one really runs idio right now on pharoglyph so there's that so i mean this as you can tell there's not really like a there's like only like a handful of abilities that they're not terrible on ragoon but you would rather steal something else and but then there's like maybe a couple of abilities that you're just like well it, I, I don't get anything from it, so it's just a complete waste. So, there's Ragoon. That's the change that has, changes that I want to do to Ragoon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, let me know in the comments down below what Lumi and you would like me to use next. I have a feeling it's probably going to be Isogul, um, because I mentioned the parting gift, which is it's just a buff to parting gift. So, in, instead of doing, like, 2% damage, I should do more. I think that would be a pretty good one. So, yeah, I think that's actually it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.